Hey, what's up, fellas? So we know when selecting a great look, that one thing that's going to put you over the top is selecting a great fragrance. So today, I want to go over the fragrances that spend the most time in my rotation. And jumping into things, this first one is definitely one of my all-time favorites. Not only is it a great fragrance, it also has sentimental value to me because it kind of represented my transition from boy to man. This was the first fragrance that I picked out for myself. Like I went to the store and smelled some things and was like, yeah, this one right here, this is definitely me. And that's Calvin Klein's Intense Euphoria for Men. This is a very fresh, woody, oriental scent that can last you for hours. My only knock on it would be the projection on it isn't very strong. So that just means you gotta get a little closer. Now this next fragrance is a very iconic masculine fragrance. And that's Dior Sauvage. And this fragrance has a very fresh, open, invigorating scent. Definitely has great projection and can last you hours. The next one is pretty dope and can be found in collections of many. And that's Paco Rabanne 1 Million pre -Bank. And this is a very warm, sweet cinnamon scent with notes of vanilla. This one has great projection and is definitely a crowd pleaser. And this next one is definitely another good one and it's been getting a lot of run in my rotation lately. And that's Prada Luna Rosa Black. And Prada Luna Rosa Black is a minty herbal fragrance with notes of vanilla and almond. Now the Prada Luna Rosa line is a, definitely a great group of fragrances, but the black stood out for me. Now this next one comes from the house of YSL, and that's none other than Leon. And this is a very fresh, woody, aromatic fragrance with notes of ginger. And when it comes to choosing particular fragrances for specific events, I believe that's all subjective. But I like to throw this one on for date night. This next fragrance coming up is definitely a gem. And it's from the House of Vermont, and that's Club de New Wheat Intense Mint. Now this is a very bold, spicy lemon fragrance with notes of patchouli and vanilla. Now one of my favorite things about this fragrance is definitely the price. You can actually pick up a bottle for under 50 bucks. And what's actually more impressive is this is actually a clone of the popular Creed Adventist fragrance. They're very, 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 very close. And like I said before, this is definitely a bold fragrance has great projection and definitely makes a statement. So fellas, what are some of the colognes that you keep in your collection? What are some of the ones that get the most run in your rotation? And ladies, what colognes do you like smelling on men? Let me know down in the comment box. I'd like to thank you for taking time out of your day and tuning in to the Onyx Comics. Hit that subscribe button and hit the little bell thing to stay up to date on all our videos. Till next time.